Hey there folks, Rel here back again. Mass Effect, uh... Mass Effect 2 part 18? Are we on 18? I think so, yeah, yeah, I think so. Alright, so we just got back, uh, you can see this nice dress looking sharp, Shepard. Uh, we just got back from Kasumi's mission. Kasumi's mission, uh, last episode, and we could go talk to her again, but she doesn't really have, um, anything worthwhile to say, so... Maybe we do. Instead, Tally's mission. Why not? I mean, Kelly's just gonna harass us about it if we don't, so... Actually, you know what? I need to, uh, let's go check out the, the upgrades. I think we got some stuff that we can dump in. Weapon upgrades. Uh, SMG upgrades. Probably, honestly, this is probably worthwhile, but, um... Yeah, yeah, but we're starting to run a little low on on our uh, bonus stuff here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go all in on the uh, assault rifle damage. Nope, not that. And we have uh, I think we should be able to. Oh no, soon, soon we can get that. But uh, definitely need some more iridium. Holy crap! This actually uh, isn't such a big deal for the weapon that we're using right now, which is the, the Matic Heavy uh, Assault Rifle. But it uh, it's useful later. Damage protection, this is super good. Got that. Ugh, kicking me out of the screen every single time. Annoying. A redundant field generator is so good! Sometimes when Shepard's shield goes down, they are instantly fully restored. Super, super useful. Take it. Armor upgrades, medjail capacity. Hold that up. And emergency shielding. This is also really cool. So you need to restore squad members full or shields to full strength. So unity is the other uh, thing that brings people back online after they die, and it can be used to restore health. But with this emergency shielding, it also restores shields. So huge, huge, huge platinum dump. But uh, we really, really want that. So yeah, and we can actually get hard shields later. So I want that as well. Except fuel cells. This is not necessary, but we have so much ESO that who cares? Prototypes. Uh, Morden Omni tool. That's useful. Pump him up a little bit. Krogan vitality. We don't have a lot of platinum left. Heavy bone weave. I definitely. Uh, I want this because Krogans are annoying. Actually, you know, we might hold out on that for a little bit. Uh, and actually the, uh, the husks are wicked annoying too. Heavy muscle weave, this is, I like, I like it, but I don't really need it. Alright, that's it, we'll stop there. Let's go talk to Morden real quick, since we're here. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing in fact, excellent, made breakthrough, can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis, never fast enough, usually no result in advance, just checking work, have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery, based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. 
But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> okay, so that part, I'm pretty sure that there was, there was just no dialogue option or something that wasn't recorded. It seems so awkward. It's just an awkward, um, end. and, and I don't know, it's, yeah, it, it just seems we could get out of place. Not the singing, the singing's fine, but there's no follow-up, and I, I think that was actually unintended, if I just had to guess. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes, like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight, technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it wasn't there then. Do what I can. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. <laughs> Alright, so that's um, that's a pretty cool talk. Just because Morden gives you some more insight as to what he's actually going through. Kind of like he did with the uh, the mission back on Tachanka. I hope we can clear up what... Was there anything else? Just eager we'll to talk later. Come in. Alright, so we, we have to... We'll talk to Shepard... Er, We'll talk to uh, Jacob after he's done doing his little pouty bit for his father. But let's go talk to Tally. Actually, you know what? We need to go to... Uh, we need to go... Uh, we could talk to Grunt. We haven't done that since we finished his mission, so... Go talk to Grunt. Or not Grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy, or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we'd better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. The uh, voice actor for Grunt is the same guy who does the... It's a super, super recognizable voice. You never mess, mess it up. But uh, the voice actor for Grunt does... Bullet Storm. Which I think we're actually going to play through because it's a surprisingly good game. I uh, can't talk to Jack yet. She's still waiting for Pragya. Well, actually, we should probably do that next time. Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. 
We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. Never underestimate Shepard. So worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. So you can actually, well, you can definitely do this when uh, when Tally's not here. Uh, and she just won't be included. And it's nice to have those little um, little things, little things. Shepard. I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial, or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. You know, honestly, Tally, there's not really time for us to do anything. But you know what, since everybody has me running around doing missions, I might as well, right? Just add yours to the list. I'm kidding, but seriously. At least they, um... They make an effort to, to tell you that, uh... They'll wait a reasonable amount of time. But they don't specify what that is. So at least they give you some sort of time frame. Because Commander Shepard is like... Just romping around the galaxy, all willy-nilly, doing whatever she wants. Because... Because of why? Because for what? Like, we should be... 
We're probably saving the galaxy. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, secure smuggled cargo. Ugh, actually, I don't like that. It's just a little side mission, but there's a bunch of, um, if it's the one that I think it is, it's super annoying because you have to fight so many mechs. So this is, um, the Corians are a species that literally don't have a home anymore. And you'll hear and you'll learn about that all throughout the, the trilogy, really. And, uh, this is, um, this is really, really cool. I'm glad they put this in the game, this mission. Not on the best of terms, but, uh, it's glad that we get to experience this culture. The decisions you make in Mass Effect 2 could have dire ramifications in Mass Effect 3. Yeah, that's not really the case. Sorry, what a letdown. Alright, so Tally, of course, let's pull some Garrus in here because... Garrus. For reasons. And two points. Uh, I do want to eventually get Shockwave just because it's kind of fun to use that uh, against husks. But uh, uh, we should really change this heavy slam out. I'm not digging it just because we can't, uh, it doesn't last long enough to biodetonate. Which is kind of annoying, but oh well. In drone, we're going to go with um, Machinist. And we want to power duration. Garrus has got six. Concussive shot. Take that. And we're just going to do a heavy concussive shot. Train Rebel. Oops. Ah! I didn't mean to do that! No! Okay, well evidently it's fine. Alright, Shepard, Arc Projector, that's what we need. Matic Heavy Rifle, we can actually... Let's get us, um... We can go, could go with the Pulse Rifle, I don't really like it regardless. Collector Assault Rifle is, um... It's okay. Uh, it says... I, I think they kind of... Over-exaggerate here. You know what, we're just gonna stick with the Heavy Rifle. Da, 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 da. Everything's fine. Sure, sure. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I've never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Tally helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck.
All right, so this is um, it's kind of cool, right? So we're obviously all wearing helmets so that we can breathe, or maybe just not. Maybe just not contaminate everything. If Talizora can't even get a Quarian captain to stand for her, she's as good as convicted. And the the whole like Quarian race is really gossipy because they're they're all like family, like Tally says. So we're gonna save it real quick. Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Chaleron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zoravas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So... Uh... You would actually speak for my defense. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. The accused Tali Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy, your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tally, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Basnima, a proud member of the Migrant Fleet. I regret that her captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Zalkoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali? You're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Tally would never endanger the migrant fleet. She pleads not guilty. I left parts and technology for teams to pick up. My father ordered me to do so. 
But I would never send the active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lampship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarry and strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is clear to these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Alright, so you're going to see some familiar faces here, but this is, um, if you look at the Corian structure, right? Well, I mean, it's not Corian. The sh oh, it might be. I guess, I guess it might be. I don't know. Um, but the ships in the Corian fleet are usually uh, taken from... They're, they're different ships, right? Uh, salvaged from basically wherever they can find them. Uh, they're junkers. And I think this, um, this is a, a live ship, so it's probably, you know, built from the ground up, but... Yeah. No, no. They, they try to make it really homey. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing it. Talizor is guilty. Kavrigar. Shepard, Talizor. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. <laughs> I love Kalrigger. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telizora. Served with her, and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. If, um, if Rieger dies, he just won't say that, and uh, 
and there won't. It's it's unnecessary, uh, like unnecessary context, because they're going to be going to the Alright anyway, regardless. I mean, no matter who's alive, who dies, doesn't really matter. But the fact that they they gave it to Calrier to say to you um, that like this was his suggestion, it's it adds, it allows you to flesh out characters. Um, yeah, and just just in sm some small way, and there's <clears throat> there's actually a lot of stuff like that th throughout the series, and it's kind of it's neat to pay attention to, if you play through using the uh, the different options. Uh, let's see. Have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. We should get going. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. Love, Rieger. Well to the Admirals. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the Admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. <laughs> Talizora and her father are out of control. This is on their heads. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. You didn't say much during the opening statements, Admiral. There wasn't much to say. This trial is a waste of time. It matters a great deal to me. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then, this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces, and certainly not enough to make that many guests. Sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geral sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active geth, Perhaps we have ideas in common. You support experiments on living creatures. Rael should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. 
Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace, then, as Shala Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But, if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. So she doesn't actually, like, acknowledge Tally at all? And that's, that's kind of annoying. Ugh. Zen is kind of a douche. Of course she is. But, um... It's, uh, you should be able to see from that conversation there that there is a lot of infighting involved. And just a lot of politics that really don't have anything to do with, with Tally. And you'll see more of that. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allery. That is your best chance at recovering the evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Are the judges that set on finding her guilty? Anything involving the Geth is a live wire, Shepard. But there is still hope. And girls greatly respects both you and Tali Zora for stopping Saren. Admiral Koresh sees the whole thing as a war crime and wants to convict. I have no idea what Admiral Zen wants. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You got that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the whole world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the Admirals? Tali, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Alright, two more, then we're out of here. Tally, I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. 
Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And you're Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. You got Admiral Chorus backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail inactive equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy, and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We've sent some of our best marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship! I know that, Tully. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Can you tell me about the other Admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? Man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yasko during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids. Serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. Crew of ten. Six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. He took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <sighs> That's rail for you. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. So I want you to um, kind of remember this scene with Admiral Garrel. In this, he's he has a goal, obviously. He wants to go retake the homeworld. He's very enthusiastic about it. But in Mass Effect 3, he does something that I don't really think he is within his character. Um, and we'll see that once we get there. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Tali a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quibquib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. You have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created. The people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? 
Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrons or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip. And I will not flee because of petty insults. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. So, Admiral uh, Chorus's... They, they make like a mockery of him in so many different ways. So the pink that he's wearing and just his... If Tali Zora is stuck with a human captain, at least it's an elf. And just the, the pansy, you know, sort of attitude, and he's very peace-oriented, and whereas uh, and Geralt is like, it's all gray, and he's very gruff, and uh, it's just, and then there's a quip quip thing, it's just, it's just funny. Uh, it's interesting to have that sort of, um, really, honestly, unnecessary uh, distinction, but, hey, 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 but uh, it definitely adds something to the characters. Talizora Vas Nimak. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Aran's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of death, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building, or repairing more of themselves, from materials on the Alarai. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Kila Selai. Alright. Here we are, four rounds, not really digging that. Here we are on the Alarai, and we get to... Well, you know what, I should have brought Zaid instead of Garrus. What was I thinking? But, uh, we get to kill a lot of Geth now. So that would be fun. So the, uh, the biggest threat here is the hunters, which we'll see in the sky right here. Huge, huge, huge threat. And they, they bum rush you like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. I can't do it. I gotta pull out, uh, an assault rifle first. 
even though the actually the other uh, locust is probably it's definitely not the best idea for this situation because it's such close quarters but uh taking out the if i pull out our rifle it does so much damage that it really doesn't matter all right that's fine Shred him. Shred him. Look out! My pleasure. Actually, try to save ammo because it just drains so quick. Yeah, Garrus, you need to work on that whole dying thing there, bud. Let's pick up our rifle here. Plenty of ammo, and I'm actually going to get uh, more from that crate over there. Something's slowing down the systems. We're taking down the firewalls to rebalance load distribution. Rails are our orders to bypass standard safeties. Following security protocols will take too long. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification, clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. How did you get these things to your father? Some For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. No! So... It kind of gives you a little bit more uh, background into their history. Super cool. This should come in handy. Nice. <laughs> so we get Geth Shield Strength, uh, which alludes to the fact that we're going to get a Geth crew member, right? Uh, it's kind of silly that they do that, to be completely honest, but I remember something like this happening in Chrono Trigger, 
like Chrono Trigger, the fight before you uh, at the shop at the bottom of the, the cliff or whatever it was, I can't even remember. But there's um there's a scythe, like a, a scythe inside of the, that you can buy. And it's actually for Magus, who you fight, and then at the end you get an option if you want to like try to recruit him or if you want to kill him. Unfortunately, I killed him. That was really not a uh, huge deal. What else we got? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's activate those, so we're gonna back up real quick. Um. No! Move, Garrus! Oh. Alright. Not the, uh, not my favorite situation here, but... Gonna do a little bit of backing up here. A yeah, little annoying. Oh man. I'm yeah, definitely not a fan. And then we got uh, this guy left too. Hurt so much. Run for your life. Oh, he's not gonna eat that either. Dang it. All right. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Do not have enough ammunition to deal with that situation. Yeah, really regretting that. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? Okay, because Intali doesn't do it by default. But I should be dropping shields on... I can't believe... Okay, I completely forgot about this. But I should be dropping shields on Geth Hunters and then using uh, AI hacking. Which is... Yeah, it'll turn him into a huge meat shield. And I definitely... I should have been doing that. Run. Stuff. Stuff. And we're just gonna save it here. Screw that wall safe. Now you guys stay over in the corner. I can't really trust them not to kill themselves. Right. Alright, you guys good? Good now? Alright, so if you- ah, she's got a cooldown, but... I want to show you this AI hacking because it makes things so much easier.
Come on. Come on. Come on, stick your head up. Oh no, run for your life! Run, yeah you are, run! Ah, uh, I keep uh... I keep dropping the... Keep dropping the drone out of habit. Oh, run, 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 oh my god. Alright, so normally you can do this. I wish he would do it automatically, but whatever. And then he can actually get out of here. Get out of here. It'll, um, oh no! It'll, uh, soak the damage for you, which is really nice. And the shield that's on it. I believe actually acts as the duration. So get out here. Woo! Alright, took a little bit more effort than I would wanted it to. There's some stuff over here. Including... Ammo and... Medkits, which we don't really need. You can actually, if you're quick enough, you can actually go back there. I think that stops the uh, spawns too. But you have to do it like, you have to run into the doorway while they're while it's being opened by Geth. All right, credits. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Do you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tally. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? 
We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. All right, so it's cool that um, this music is really killing it for me, by the way. But uh, that's a very touching scene, I guess. Um, Tally, she's she's not like a robot with uh, you know without emotion. They they make her very genuinely want the uh, the cause of the Korean people. You know, want to go back home because of all these things that uh, that make the Korean really what they are now. And it's just kind of interesting. Save. All right, so let's not screw up like last time. How about that? How about that? This can also be a little bit frustrating because um, can't uh, can't really kill him quickly enough. Come on! Ugh. That's stupid. Do it. Now go! Go fight! Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't shoot me in the face. And I'm stuck. I can't- what the heck? I can't do anything. I can't do anything! Oh, why can't I move? Okay, well you guys are gonna have to win this fight for me evidently. I can't even reload. What the heck? Okay. Load the game. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. <laughs> These guys are really not behaving the way that I want them to behave with the uh, AI hacking there. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna just gonna do this. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, get wrecked! Open this door. Open this door right now. Boom. Circumvent that whole entire thing. Cheesy way to do it for sure, but you know what? I'll take it. Let's speed this up a little bit. Processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Hangel 
and Daro Zen see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. He knew you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we are ending this. Alright, plenty of stuff to hack for no reason. Why does this have to be in the game? Come on. Come on. Alright, that was super important. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So, now... We got to see, uh... Unfortunately, Rails or dies for some reason in the middle of the hallway, right where Tally can find him. And she gets to, like, you get to understand a little bit more about her relationship, or lack thereof, with her father. And it's, uh, it's kind of sucks all around, you know? Oh, hello there! Screw you, Hunter! Screw you, Prime! Yeah, if Geth had crotches, I would have. Oh man, you would not have been able to have Geth babies. Alright, take. And. Ooh, take for my model collection because <laughs> because reasons all right this console is linked to the main hub father mentioned disabling it shut down any geth we missed it looks like some of the recordings remained intact they'll tell us how this happened what father did you sound like you don't really want to hear it no we have to i know i just this is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No, we're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I... I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. We need to face facts. 
There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. We must trust General Conrad. It's only been a few hours. Vorian Marines lasted less than five minutes, Ash. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Wicked cliche. Completely unnecessary. Um, why don't they have comm systems? Like, t uh, yeah, t I don't know, to let people know that we're alive? Why couldn't they use the ship's... Uh, ship's comm systems? Uh, Come on, plot holes. Come on, plot holes. All right, all right. Tali Zora Vas Normandy saved the Alarai. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance... You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. Han Garrel wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tali Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please, don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizora of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Tali, about what your father said. What he did. You deserved better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Come on, Tally Zora, boss Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. We can use this. We can use this. Hey, guys. Hello again, Commander. Good luck, Tally. Very impressive speech, Commander Shepard. But tell me truly, did you recover any of Rail Zora's research on the Alarai? Nothing that will help you, Admiral. Pity. Oh, well. Whatever is created can be recreated. In any event, I am pleased that our talk regarding the war conundrum allowed you to help Tali. Her exile would have been unfortunate. Goodbye, Admiral. Nice talking, Shepard. It's funny how it takes a commander to remind the Admirals about military honor. Glad they're off your back, ma'am. And that you didn't have to give them that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Cop. 
noticed that, ma'am. <laughs> Any idea what your next assignment is going to be? Mm. I'm going to be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. What's your take on the war? Are the Admirals going to try to retake the homeworld? I won't shy away from a fight, but if the Admirals throw the fleet at the Geth, all they'll get back is scrap metal. The best bet would be for us to find another way. But a soldier can't say unless his superiors ask. Stay safe out there, Rieger. You too, Shepard. Ma'am. Carl, just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. I was wrong. Tali's honor was innocent after all. The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. We found Real's body. He left a message for Tally. I can only imagine how horrible this is for you, child. But at least you got to hear your father tell you he loved you. Yes. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kia is alive. You called us on the carpet out there, Shepard, and you were right. Thank you. Tally shouldn't have been involved in that argument. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Tally, is there anything the Admiral should know? We found a lot of dead bodies, Admiral. Including my father's, that's all. Whatever research they were doing was destroyed. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well, and fly safe, kid. Your father would be proud of you. Very impressive, Shepard. Thank you for your help on the Alarai. And thank you for helping Rail Zora's daughter. You stood for her when we failed. We were wrong to let our own concerns about the war overshadow Tali's trial. The galaxy needs more people saying what you're saying, Admiral. Good luck. Thank you, Commander. All right. There we go. So I'm deliberately avoiding a lot of... Uh... I'm so going to switch over to this power. It's so much fun. Uh... I deliberately avoided using some Paragon options and just because it doesn't really feel right like telling uh, Rail about the the things that they found you can actually, you just you can do that flat out but uh, not Rail, sorry uh, Hound Garrel but it doesn't, it doesn't feel right to do it doesn't really impact the game though but that's where we're gonna end it, guys, wow, long episode long episode the uh, tally still got stuff that we can talk about, we'll just do that next time and lots of uh Lots of side quests and uh, crew missions that we can take care of. And also we're going to, let's, let's next time, let's go pick up another crew member. How about that? Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.